What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on basic position plays. The way to set up this drill, you're going to start with the cue ball. The cue ball is going to be on the third diamond on the long rail and the second diamond on the short rail, or at so. But your one ball is going to be half a diamond on the short rail and on the fourth diamond on the long rail. The objective is, is to pocket the one ball onto the side pocket and get position to the two ball. Once the two ball is located, half a ball is width away from the rail on the second diamond on the long rail. You pocket the two ball, then you go to your three ball. If this is not a run out drill, this is a position play drill where you're actually playing position. So your three ball is also half a ball's width on the first diamond on the short rail. Then you go to your fourth ball. It's also half a ball's width away from the rail on the third diamond on the short rail. Then you go to your number five. It's also half a ball's width, but on the second diamond on the long rail. Then you go to your number six. It's your first diamond on your short rail, but on your fourth diamond on your long rail. On the sixth ball, you can also go to these pockets, the side um, corner pockets, side pockets, or you can even these corner pockets. The balls can go in any pocket, but the objective is, is try to get position. And then your last ball, which is a little bit tricky, but it's manageable, is your seven ball. It's also on the first diamond on the short rail and the fourth diamond on the long rail. For this shot, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually hit the cue ball about a little bit below center with a little bit of a draw. And you're gonna hit a half ball hit, making this one ball go into the side pocket. The cue ball should slide. You should go to your first rail and hopefully bounce out and get position around here for your two ball. For this position play, what you're gonna do, you're gonna actually strike the cue ball a little bit to the top left and making it only a quarter ball hit, you're going to your first rail, then you go to your second rail, missing the three ball, and hopefully play position around here. For this position play, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the cue ball with top right and hitting it with a half ball hit, making the cue ball hit this rail first, killing the speed of the cue ball with a reverse English and going to this rail and hopefully bouncing out and playing position for the floor around here. For this position play, what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit the cue ball with top left, with a half ball hit, going one rail, two rails, and hopefully land over here for a position on the fly. For this position play, what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit the cue ball with top right, a quarter ball hit, you're gonna go off this rail, to this rail, and then get that cue ball rolling, and hopefully stop around here for your position to six. For this position play, what you're gonna do, you can do it in two ways. You can either go top left or top right. I actually like going top left, making the cue ball run, going, going with a quarter ball hit, getting this rail to this rail, and try to be around here for your position on the seven.
For drill number two, as you can see, the cue ball is in the opposite side where I had it before. Now you're on the third diamond on the long rail and the second diamond on the short rail. But your object balls are on the same side as where the cue ball, cue ball is. So the, ob the objective is, is to pocket the one ball into this pocket and use these rails to get position for your next shot. For this shot, what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit the ball with top left, getting it to this rail, and then this rail, your cue ball will roll and hopefully get position around here for your two ball. For this position play, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually use just top. No spin, you're gonna hit a half ball hit. You're gonna go one rail, two rails, and try to get the third rail and hopefully get position around here to get to your three ball. For this play, you have two ways to get to the four. The way you, I did it before is with top itself, going one rail, two rails, and then three rails, and then getting enough speed and hopefully landing over here for your position to the four. Or the way I like to do it is going center ball with left spin with a quarter ball hit, going one rail, two rails, and letting the cue ball roll and hopefully get position over here for your four ball. For this position play, what you're gonna do is you're gonna strike the cue ball with top right with a quarter ball hit, going one rail, two rails, and hopefully land around right here to get to your five. For this shot, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the cue ball with top left, half ball hit, going one rail, two rails, and let the cue ball roll with control of your speed and hopefully land around here so you get position on six. For this shot, what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit the cue ball with top right, a quarter ball hit, go off your first rail, second rail, let the English take, and hopefully land over here for your position on the seven. I just did some of the basic position plays where the object ball is close to the side pocket. The biggest thing about the side pocket plays is try to use your long rail and your short rail for position. And the biggest thing also is learning the speed control because if your next ball is going to a side pocket, you have to know what side to land on or what the correct line is. I'll be explaining that in another video. And hopefully this video was informative. Thank you for watching. My next video will also be on basic position plays. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye.